Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create custom ringtones for your iPhone. Some people have been saying that all you need to do is right click on a song, select the song, sorry, right click and click create ringtone. But as you can see from this message, it won't allow me to do that because I haven't purchased that particular song from the iTunes store. So how do you go about creating custom ringtones from any song in your iTunes library? Well, here is the method that I've come up with. The first thing you need to do is you want to click on Edit, Preferences, and select Ringtones here. This will allow you to, to easily see any ringtones in your iTunes library by clicking here on the left hand side. The second thing you need to do is you want to click Start, My Computer, Tools, Folder Options, View, and uncheck hide extensions for known file types. Now if you just notice on the right hand side this will show you what happens when I click apply. It just showed me that this is a key file. Now that will do with every every file on your computer. So you just want to click OK and close that. Head back to your library. Now say if I wanted to make this song into a ringtone. I highly recommend that you don't make the section of the section of the song you want to make into a ringtone longer than 40 seconds. So if I want to make this from 0 to 30 seconds as my ringtone, so it'll start like that, I just right click, click get info, options, click highlight stop time and change that to 30 seconds. It doesn't have to be from start, from the start of the song, you just want to make sure that is no less than no more than 40 seconds so I, it could be from 1 minute to 1 minute 40 for example you want to click OK now right click back on the song and click create ACC version and you'll hear a sound to complete um, to tell you when it's done there we go and you'll notice that that has just got the start and stop times in it if you go back to the original song and try and, and play it, more than the original thing that you change it to, so 47 seconds for example, it just skips on to the next song. To combat this, to get that song back to its original form, right click, get info, options, uncheck, start, stop time, sorry, click OK. Now when you play it, longer than 30 seconds, it just carries on easily. Okay. Now, with the song that you've got the section of the original song up with, you want to highlight, drag onto your desktop. There we go. And now, because we've unchecked hide known file extensions, it should say .m4a at the end. Okay, what you want to do, right click, rename, and then change that lowercase a simply to an R. Press enter. Okay. When you get this dialog box, just say yes, and there you go. You've noticed that the icon has changed to a ring. That means in iTunes, it'll recognize it as a ringtone. Simple. You want to cut this song back into your default um, place where you keep all your music on your computer. So for me, it's my music, iTunes, iTunes music and it's just in there, but for you it could be on your desktop, it's wherever, just make sure all your music stays together and click paste. Close that. Go back to iTunes, file, add file to library, navigate to where you've just pasted that song, there it is, and click open. Head over to your ringtone, ringtone section, and there you go. There now, that's the, it was that one, wasn't it? Now you notice here, with this one, you can just simply click delete, remove, keep file, and you still have the ringtone saved in your ringtone section. The next step everyone can, everyone can do with ease, as normal, sync your iPhone. Make sure in the, when the screen comes up that across the top of it, in the ringtone section, you've selected the checkbox that says Sync Ringtones.
then just click sync, sync in the bottom right and you've done. Thank you for watching this video, please comment, rate, subscribe and keep up to date.